Shalom, Makim. Shalom. 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 All right, before we get started, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, double honors unto the apostles and elders that great millstone who rule well. Also, want to say peace, safety, and much love to the elect that's laboring around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives and their freedom to get this word out. Shalom to the sincere sisters, sisters that's uh, you know, subscribing and listening to the, the men of Great Millstone. All right, we got another live stream here. It's the brothers from the Atlanta camp. Uh, you know, this live stream we're basically going to dive into uh, refrain from the world now. Okay. And the reason why we feel compelled to go into this is because this world that's around us is on a downward spiral, all right? This place is pretty much out of here. The Most High is chopping this place down in every angle, okay? So why, if, if, if we call ourselves being brothers in this truth, what necessities do we feel that we need from the world, man? All right? The satisfaction from women and money and cars, clothes, hoes, all right, fame, all right, uh, uh, notoriety, okay, comfort, stability. Listen, you're not going to receive that from this world because this is a world that's being broken down, all right? This world is being taken out of here. If you look around the world, you see this commotion going on, going on everywhere around the world, man, all right? You got friction between America and North Korea, okay, America and Iran. All right, Russia and America, it's friction everywhere. I'm going to show that the fashion of this world faded for weight. It's going to be taken out, man. So if you call yourself being an Israelite, if you call yourself being a part of a great millstone camp, but you got one foot in and one foot out, hey, man, this is the time now to refrain from the world. Because right. the Most High is getting ready to break America down with a sledgehammer, a spiritual yeah. sledgehammer. And anything that's in the, the way of a sledgehammer, it gets broke up. That's right. You know? That's right. It gets right. breaking up, man. So, you know, we're going to start with 1 John 2 and 15. Correct. This is 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. That's right. Now, John, now, now the Apostle Paul said what? He said, he said, using the world, but not abusing it. So, yeah, you got to go into the world and you got to, you know, do certain things to get your daily bread, all right? To get certain things that's sufficient for your lifestyle to sustain in this society. But that's it. Going above and beyond and trying to, you know, be a millionaire and trying to uh, be an entrepreneur and going to college and doing all this crazy stuff, man, listen. The most I said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Continue. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right. Now, if I'm not mistaken, when you look up that word world and that scripture is cosmos. All right. Which is speaking about a specific world. All right. Now that now if, if somebody could just to just to verify that, look that up in the blue letter. <laughs> All right, God. But I, if I'm not mistaken, that word there is cosmos. Uh first John two and fifteen, Baba Pasha. And if I could just say something in the meantime, because just like the brother said, you know, in this in this world, we do have to utilize it to our maximum advantage, but we can't abuse it. Of course, brothers have to work to uh, generate income, you know, to make money. Of course, brothers have women to to, to feed their, their physical pleasures, you know. Of course, brothers drink when they, you know, are, are down. I just could just say, uh, you know, drink basically makes the heart merry. But you can't abuse these different things because when you abuse it, that's when addiction comes in. That's yeah. when you become addicted or you, you have emotional and uh, basically spiritual attachments to the things where you can't break away, you know? And, and a lot of people, they actually dive into the world and they can't break free from it. It becomes infused with their, their natural spirit and it becomes a part of them. That's why the Lord said that when you read it, in the scriptures, you know, the men of the Lord, they did drink. Some of them dealt with women. Some of them, you know, had the, the necessities. But sometimes the necessities became their necessities. Some men had more than others, you know. Some men had less than others. But the men that have less, don't try to make it all your business to try to, you know, do the most. 
deal with the balance that the most I gave you, you know, because at the end of the day, everything has um, a, basically feedback to it. Okay. If you put all your energy in, into all these women, you're going to get some type of spiritual feedback, okay. which is, in most cases, horrible feedback. Right. Wicked. Right. Wicked feedback. Right. You get demons and you get all kind of effeminate spirits attached onto you from trying to overindulge with all kind of uh, weird spirits. Right. Such as, like I just said, an example of, of overindulging with, with women. That's why the scriptures say that. Don't sit in the multitude of women. Why? Because you're gonna get offended, man. Yeah. You're gonna that demon and that 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 spirit is gonna actually attach to to your masculinity, mm -hmm. and it's gonna make you effeminate your damn self, man. That's right. The, the characteristics and all the little the, the, so the, the ways is gonna actually because your because your mind is nothing but a sponge. Yeah. Brain Anything, brain. Your brain is nothing but a sponge, and it's and it uh, drinks things consciously and subconsciously, and it's a lot of things that actually snap into your mind outside of what you normally can see with the naked eye. That's right. Because it's spirits. That's right. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, I want to say, you know, because you said if you hang around women, it's, you're going to get that women feminine spirit. Mm -hmm. And who, who the, uh, the uh, fucking faggots hang around all the time? <laughs> women. Women. Yeah, women. Because they, they, you know, and getting that spirit off, uh -huh. you know, on them. That's feminine yeah. spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, that, and that's, that's all a part of the world. See, right. the world has many aspects to offer to you, mm -hmm. whether it's a job, an opportunity, mm -hmm. whether it's money, women, clothes, cars, hoes, okay, comfort, mm -hmm. whatever it is, man, the world can offer it to you. Yeah. And that's why you want to refrain from it as best as possible. Mm -hmm. If you sitting up here trying to open up a club or you trying to, you know, have some, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, club night, or you know, I'm trying to own this. Listen, that's all a part of the world. If you ain't built up enough to deal in that arena, the world is gonna conquer you, man. Right. And 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 that, that word world there in First John two and fifteen, if you could bring it out, bro. Carter, uh, you want to get it out? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you can bring it out. It's a uh, cosmos, um, an act in her harmonious arrangement. Or constitution, yeah, of government. that's right. So that's talking about a specific world. Now, what world is that talking about? The world that Esau has created, man. That that's what that's what that applies to. All right, this modern world, man. This American world, like they call it, what the American dream? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know that's what they call it, the American dream. You can go out here and you can get this and you can get that and you can have this and you can have that. You know. As long as you trust in it, man. Refrain from that bull crap, man. Okay? There's different aspects of the world, man. It's, and, and you have to look at this truth as a power outlet. Let's say you have a big extension cord. Right. You know? That's, that's the main power source. All right? And you have different sockets. And if you plug your spirit into that socket, it's still coming from that main source, even though it has multiple sources of multiple outlets okay you still plug your spirit into that source and you take part of that actual energy and you become a part of that energy right that's why you can't jump into it man okay go ahead I Come. that's about it on this. then i go back to first john Come. 2 and 15 is the actual scripture all right first john chapter 2 verse 15 Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Go ahead. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Yeah, so you can say, you can profess with your mouth, yeah, I love this truth and I love the Yahweh by Shemawah Shai, but then you dip in the foot in the world. The love of Yahweh by Shemawah Shai ain't in you, man, right. because he's coming back to destroy this world. Right. The same world that you claim that you don't love, but you show that you love it, that same world that you love is the world that Yahweh Bashanah was is going to come back and crush. That's right. It was written of in the book of Daniel, man, where you had the, the, the statue mm -hmm. with the, the, the Babylonians, mm -hmm. the Persians, the Greeks, and the Roman Empire. And it, that Roman Empire is still here today. But you still had that stone that came and it crushed the whole statue. So what? Who, that stone is Yahweh Shah. All right, he's going to break up this whole world. That's right. All right, that's why America is known as what? Babylon, man. 
And Babylon was what? In the book of Daniel, it was the, the head. It was the golden head. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it trickled all the way down to the feet. Yeah. And that's why Yahweh Shai is going to come and, and that, you know, when Nebuchadnezzar had that dream, he destroyed the whole statue. Yeah. Because he's going to destroy this world. That's right. This is nothing but Babylon in the reincarnation, man. Those so, ancient Babylonian uh, ways, yeah. they did the same shit you're doing. You think you're doing something new. I'm exclusive, you know, uh, uh, strands of exclusivity. Right. You ain't got no strands of exclusivity. VIPs. Niggas been flossing back in Babylon. Man. Uh, Niggas had a part of Babylon too. Yeah. And we, and well, ancient Babylon, you know, you had something that was called uh, the Hanging Garden. The Hanging Gardens. Yeah. You know, it was, it was, it was, it was what the, the eighth wonder of the world. You know, it was a wonder to the world. So Babylon being a place of splendor and s uh, uh, s exclusive. Exclusivity, that's a word, you know. Grandeur. You know, you know, mm -hmm. a place of grandeur. That's not nothing new. It's the same spirit. That's like brother said, that's that head of gold. That's that that uh that uh glory that everybody tries to reach. Going back to Nimrod's Babylon, going back to Nebuchadnezzar's Babylon, and even in this new Babylon, the spiritual Babylon, everybody wants to achieve that status of glory. Everybody wants some type of fame or whatever. But that's the world. And 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 and, and when you do your research on those Babylons, they all got destroyed. Mm -hmm. It was all by the power of Yahweh by the way. Because mm -hmm. even Nimrod's Babylon was 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 destroyed and scattered by Yahweh and Shah scattering the languages with the Tower of Babylon. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Nebuchadnezzar's Babylon mm -hmm. was taken down by war. So the more side is going to use divine intervention through war to bring down this new Babylon. And that's why, you know, the time is, you know, brothers really should have been pulled themselves out the world. God. But if you're still hanging on to certain aspects of the world, just in case this truth don't work, understand that the world is going to crumble and it's going to fall on you, man. Yeah. And you feel it. Yeah, that's just like somebody hanging on to a phone, okay, in, a, in, in the middle of a Category 5 hurricane. <laughs> If you hanging on to a pole in the middle of a Category Five hurricane, let just let go of the pole, bro. All right, let it go. It ain't let gonna go. work. Let it go. You know, your best bet is to let go of the pole mm -hmm. and let the wind carry you where it's gonna carry you, man. It may carry you into safety. All right. So that's 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 why this the, the, the time is now, man. All right. If you're still trying to go and hang with some of your homeboys. Sneak and hang with your partners. Entourage of niggas. Entourage of niggas, and you want to, you know, you are on the low, you want to bring, incorporate, you want to try to incorporate the truth, okay, with, with the world. Hey, we here to tell you it ain't going to work, man. All right? That's the right. truth and the world ain't going to mix. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I'm going to say, because uh, time is of the essence, man. And the time, our time is the most valuable things that we have. You know, of course, the spirit, you know, but it's all utilized through time. That's why the most I said in the scriptures, I think it all uh, is measure with a measure. You know, you got to actually, you know, utilize your time wisely. The time that we live in, and you shouldn't be fucking around, man. Trying to, you know, invent new little ways of, of yourself, trying to get with your old partners, you know, trying to be an emblem in whatever state you're in, whether you're in uh, California. Florida, New York, trying to be a, a staple in, in your city. Man, fuck all that, man. The Lord said that the city. Yeah, the fashion of this world is yeah. fading away. Fading away. Right. Just like we just spoke about, just like in Babylon, you had the hanging garden, you had the uh, people of prominence, just like in Greece, you had the uh, Olymp uh, people that was uh, indulged in uh, Olympics, people in Rome that indulged in the Colosseum and Saturnalia, the Feast of Batches. Yeah. And yeah. the, all the uh, merry events of mm -hmm. uh, bread and circus, but you know, at the end of the day, those empires fell in, they, in their time, and the ones that actually survived the the uh, the, 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 the the basically the, the onslaught was the ones that was conscious of what was going on. That's why the scripture says that a man foreseeth evil and he hideth himself. That's right, bro. The men, the yeah. men in the scriptures, excuse me. Are you right, bro? I was gonna say uh, the men in the scriptures. 
they always knew what was going on in the society and they stuck with that pack. Paul wasn't, you don't read in the scriptures where Paul was goddamn bullshit and, and partying with the Romans, man. Right. Getting mm -hmm. in the Saturnalia and, and, and the clubs right. and all that fuck shit, man. That's right. He probably could have got invited. He probably got invited, or, you know, just like now, you had these clubs all over the place. He's seen what was going on right. in the world. He knew people. He knew, he knew people. Yeah. Had connections. Uh huh. But he condemned yeah. it. He refrained. He refrained from his world. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that's the point, man. All right? You got to understand the times, man. Don't let this world get into the way uh, 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 of this truth. That's right. Okay? You, this truth is not a thing where you should be like, oh, well, this got in the way, or, they, or, or I got this to do, but, and then I can do. This should be a thing of, well, no, I got to handle this truth, and then I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. Top priority. Because you're going to wish that you prioritize this truth in that day. Right. You're going to wish that you put it first. I got a quick scripture. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 30, 31. <laughs> and they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. Right. right. That's something real quick. Oh, you got it, bro. Yeah, that's, that's, it says, and they that use this world as not abusing it. Because like the brother was saying, the world is an enticement to the eye. Who's talking about that? The glory, every, you know, all, all the bells and whistles and, and lights and, and mm -hmm. all of that. That's the the uh, 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 allure it gives off is into something of greatness. Because this world actually is a facade. Yeah, yeah, that's you right. know? It's the old Lego playset that's getting ready to be taken apart and falling down, man. You know? It says, and they that use this word is not abusing it for the fashion of this word. Every everything, because you know, because you know, Esau likes to use that word fashion a lot. The fashion, the way things are put together, the way that we present this world to be is something of a high quality and high priority. Okay, that's getting ready to pass away according to the word, God. because all this uh 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 um 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 the uh. Uh, the way that people present themselves, you know, like the way they speak, the way they, you know, look, the way, you know, did, you know, like the whole uh, uh, lifestyle of living, okay, pay your bills, go to work, come home, like that whole lifestyle, uh, that's getting ready to pass away. Right, it's going to be a whole new status quo. It's going to be a whole new new um, method of, of surviving because mm -hmm. that's basically what the fashion of the of the world is about doing things that you want to do while surviving that's getting ready to change okay things are getting ready to change it's not going to be the same old routine the same old method of getting things done things are getting ready to change man okay you, know, you gotta be able to you gotta be able to change with it you know right you, you can't be caught out like you said caught out there because you know if you do then you know, you gonna you headed for destruction and, mm -hmm. and judgment gonna come. You know, you know, water and oil don't mix. So why try to, you know, uh, uh, like the brother in Mississippi put it, you you trying to walk into a burning building. This building is burning. This world is burning, and if it be destroyed, and you trying to be like, well, I'm gonna go make it. You yeah. know, you got a lot of, you got a lot of Titanic minded niggas, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. trying to play the violin on a sinking ship, <laughs> you know, <laughs> singing. Yeah. Don't, don't want to try to get themselves together to get on a, a little boat yeah. and slide out through that. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I could bring something out, because the brother did bring out um, uh, what he brought out in Corinthians 7 chapter. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians um, 7 and 31. All right, there's another one in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 10 and 23. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. So, like, overindulging in this world mm -hmm. is uh, is not expedient. Mm -hmm. You know, you have your certain necessities, mm -hmm. and then keep it moving with this truth. Mm -hmm. All right? You got your women. You got your, your food. You know, your transportation, your your housing, or your, your shelter. But don't overindulge in that type of lifestyle right. that, or that world. Right. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So again, it says, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. Mm -hmm. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything don't build you, you know, up. You, you, right. might, you might be a brother that can handle three or four women. But does that mean 
you go and, and push that on another brother that's been in the camp for two months? Yeah. No, because it's not edifying to him. All right, that'll lead down to lead to his destruction. That's that's right. And that's why even Paul wrote the blueprint to men of the Lord for us to, to you know, basically have the instructions. Now, Paul spoke about the office of a bishop. He spoke of a bishop to be a husband of one wife, to be not uh, given too much into to wine. You know, basically to be about the father's business. Because this is the most serious thing that we're involved in, and we got to make this first priority, man. That's a right. lot of men, they, they be juggling with the scriptures. They got the scriptures and they got the world and they just got them trying to ping pong. And that, that shit only lasts so long, man. This could just talk about hold this thing hold fast. Yeah. You gotta cuff this thing like this is this is the only thing that you did like it's treasure. That's right. Which it is treasure. That's right, yeah. Everything Precious. else is invaluable. Yeah. This is where the value lies. Everything huh. else, like the brother said, it's a facade, it's artificial. Yeah. 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 It's crafted by the the, the 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 false deviant maker, the so-called white man, mm -hmm. so that People can be seduced and drawn into it and sucked up. Okay. Job 9 and 24. Man. Yeah, Job 9 and 24. Like it says in 1 John, like we're reading, because if you love this world, you ultimately uh, love Esau. Because he's, mm -hmm. he's in rulership right now. He's the one who created this little fake facade of the world. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, the idea came to him from the Most High because the Most High is a balance. You know what I'm saying? But if you love the world, you're actually bowing down to Esau, right? Worship. And like that's your God. You're gonna take the chip, right? If you chasing it, if you chasing that bag, you love this world, man. Yeah. You yeah. know, it, here it is. You may have a job, right? You you pay you you got a job. You able to pay your bills. You know, of course we are slavery, so we ain't gonna have it like we want it in the kingdom. Yeah. That's for the kingdom. That's not for now. So here it is. Why would you want to take the job that you have and be like? Okay, you know what? Well, I see an opportunity where I can uh I can own the company. It requires me to have to make flights out of state on Saturdays when you know we got cap on Saturday. Mm -hmm. See, that's that's abusive. Why would you want to do that? Right. You see, that, yeah, that, that's not gonna get you into the kingdom. That you really uh, taking your way your, yourself away from uh. uh Having a chance to make it into the kingdom. Yeah, I know. Know. Just okay. know what you do. This is uh Sirach, uh thirty-eight, and uh I'll start at verse twenty-four. The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure, mm -hmm. and he that have little business shall become wise. Yeah, come, yeah, come. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Because yeah. if you if you have little business, what you got more time to do? You got more time to get into the scriptures. You have more time to be spiritual. That's right. You know? That's what that word means. Go back to yeah, that. Yeah, come. You know? A little bit more. How can he get wisdom that holdeth the plow and that glorieth in the gold, Ooh. that driveth oxen? Yeah. And it's See, oxen. Oh, go ahead. See, you, you're doing too much. You, uh, what, you, can't, you can't be a busybody. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You, 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 you got to make time for your house by Shemao Shah if you really for real about it. Because when that fire face you in your in, in, in reality, which is that fire face you one on one, you gotta be you know, uh 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 uh, uh. you gotta be foolproof. Right, you gotta be foolproof. You know the full the the, the 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 whole doctrine. You gotta be in a position where you can call on your house by Shemal Shai, he's gonna deliver you. Mm -hmm. But if you fucking around trying to uh, impress press this woman, that woman, you know, trying to get the, the newest car, the new newest technology. You know the biggest house, then you're gonna be lost. You're gonna be you lost in the sauce. You know, and, and Esau knows that. That's why Esau puts Jake on all these different jobs God, to yeah. work consistently. Because at the end of the day, what does it do? It brings your stress levels up. Yeah. You don't have time to eat healthy. God, you get yes. irregular sleep, which is actually breaking your body and your spirit down, all in the name of trying to receive a little bit of compensation. Right. You you living fast on the go, so your mind is always hasty. It really throws off your whole, you know, yeah. your, your rhythm on a whole. Okay. And then you're doing that time and time again. You you live it fast, so you're spinning fast. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you get up at age, and, you, you know, a lot of Jakes, they end up getting a drug addiction because they, they don't have time to relax, so they need something quick to smoke. Yeah. They need something quick to shoot up just to get that feeling of comfort, mm -hmm. you know. Then they, they'll have a woman and children at home. They, they can't even please their woman how they want to. Mm -hmm. 
So you already know she got some goddamn gangster nigga from up the yep. street. Uh, Tyrone. Yeah. This is the gangster nigga. Yeah, and, and the kids calling him daddy. You know? That's how the society crashes, and that's why everything is dysfunctional. Yeah, the moral code is free because there's no there's no um there's no standard to live up to. Because the world is 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 is, is, is here, there, and everywhere. That's why it's easy to get caught up in. You know? Yeah. And that's why even in the spirit, you just gotta settle yourself. Right. That's why the Lord says study to be quiet. Yeah. Be quiet and chill. Just relax. Let let the most high bring things your way. You know, if you ain't got everything you want, like the scripture say, food and raiment, be there with content. You know, I got a little bit more. It says, uh, that driveth the ox and is occupied in their labors and whose talk is of bullocks. You know, hey, and, and that, that, that type of mind seeps in you, man. After you work, you work in 10, 12 hours, you get off work, man, all in your, you be having them images of work in your goddamn head, man. That's why I said talk is all the bullets. All you want to do is conversate about fucking work. Yeah. Well, that's that's right. You know. Yeah. That, yep. That's all he want to do. Just work. Yeah. He just, he just want work, work, work. You know. Just be a good slave. Yep. You know. Yeah. You had objects in the world. You know. Which me and his brother. You know. We did a couple of jobs. He's an individual. You know. It's an inside thing. You know. But <laughs> Jake's. You know. And we know them Jake's man. They work, 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 and they ain't getting nowhere in life because yep. they invested too much time. Into the society, man. Yeah. They building up Esau's enterprise. Esau yeah. sitting back like a fat cat. He's getting the check. That's right. You busting your ass and breaking yourself down yeah. to, to gain something that, in reality, you're not getting. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, what are we working for in the society? That's why the Lord says, set your affections on things high, not on things above. Yeah. You get you a woman, you have sex with her a couple of times. You know, you may deal with her a couple of years. Most cases, y'all break up. You know. You get you some money, you spend it. You get you some food, you goddamn eat it. You get you some, you know, get you a nice car, it breaks down in due time. That's why the Lord said, you know, everything is gonna, you know, everything in this time, it rust and it rots. Yeah. yeah. And that's why Solomon yeah. said, vanity and vanity. Everything really here is vain. Yeah. Get you a nice phone, what, next year they're gonna have another updated phone where you gotta update it. You get you some shoes, they, they bust up. Yep. You gotta get you the newer, newer models so right. it puts you in a uh, hamster whip. This is what you just called. This is Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 2, verse 17. Therefore, I hated life because the work that is wrought under the sun is grievous unto me for all its vanity and vexation of spirit. Yeah, everything in this place is really worthless. You know, it may have some type of value in, in its present time. But guess what? In the duration of time, things depreciate. So like I said, you may get you a, a woman, you know, she, you first meet her, she cooking for you, she seemed like goddamn Rachel Ray herself, man. <laughs> you know, looking up all kind of recipes. Yeah, Martha Stewart. <laughs> looking up all kind of recipes and shit, you know, mopping, it, mopping that kitchen like she got them, you know, like she worked in a ser uh, maid service for, for over 20 years. And then in the duration of time, she depreciate, man. Yeah. She don't want, you can't even get out the bed to goddamn cook. Hey, it's, it's like that with a lot of Jakes. Oh, yeah. You got damn near four full teeth for her to goddamn jump in that kitchen. <laughs> you know? And four they even clean. <laughs> four they even clean. But that's the reality. And, and we're not saying it, but we just giving the harsh facts. This is life, man. Life yep. here sucks. Yep. And it's gonna all it's gonna continue to suck. It's not yep. gonna get better, it's nope. gonna get worse. worse. Mm -hmm. Jake be trying to run after that bag. The bag is not gonna come. Nigga, you ain't got it now. It ain't gonna come. Man. Yeah, you got these these in and out prison niggas. Yeah, you know they always looking to make some money. Yeah, try to come up just to impress Keisha yeah. up the street, man. Yeah, yeah. Or, or Shauna at the strip club. Yeah, trying to show that he the, he the new nigga in the, in the city with the bag. I got I got some for you. But what happened? They get robbed. Yeah, he you know he 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 loses his money. The woman that he gets with, he goes back to jail. The woman he gets, she sucks some drop. So I just say all that just to say the fact that in reality, this world has nothing for for a man in the world. Nope. This is our world. This is where we appreciate. This is where the most high set our sanctuary for us to live and to flourish. Mm -hmm. We have our own spiritual society with within this this wicked ass society. Right. You know? You got a little bit more of that? No, that was good. That was good. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. got this is uh second Ezra chapter six, verse uh nine. 
For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Yeah, Esau and his kingdom, everything that he stands for, it's, it's at his end. Okay. You know, they had his time, his structure, you know, like back in the day, you had the roaring 20s, you had, you know, the 30s. You had the different uh, times in, in the society where, you know, the so-called bell bottom ages, the Nike ages, the, you know, the, the age when, you know, people was big on the, the weird haircuts and the, the styles, all these things fat, faded away. So, you know, you had certain people like to talk to your pops, you know, or, you know, certain old old heads back in the world when they was talking about they, they was the man at 85. <laughs> the man to 80. Yeah. Lord, yeah. <laughs> I knew I was in slavery since the 80s. Yeah, yeah. Since the 80s. I ain't knew. got nothing to do with it. You got a lot of uh, uh, so called pan African uh, dudes that knew know that they up under the reign of Esau. You got a lot of Christians, black Christians, that know that they they in slavery, man. So you got a lot of people that's non denominational, that's atheists, that know that they're in slavery. So what? You know, like the brother Barr is always saying, man. You know, this world, this world is is, is about to is about to slip. You got a thing that's going on out here now that's real big in the in the uh in in, in the world now is cryptocurrency. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's what Esau is doing. He's yep. making a transition from physical currency to cur encrypted currency. Yep. Encrypted yep. currency, digital currency, man. Okay. All right. Messages of that's how that's why you got the cash app. Yep. Where you can transfer money from your account to another man's account without in, in a matter of seconds without mm -hmm. even being in that man's presence. Yeah. Yeah. Back in, in the in the old days, man, all right, if you wanted to uh, to make a trade with a person, you would have to actually have a physical encounter yep. right, with that person and have a personal trade. Yep. Now you can trade with somebody in America. That's in that's in Europe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just like that. Instant money. Yeah. Yeah. This is the this is the this is the convenience. This is the convenience fee that the so-called white man is setting up to get you to buy you into the chips. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. A lot of you rappers ain't doing nothing but promoting the chips, man. Mm -hmm. And what? Because what? Because why? You walk around. Esau got you flashing stacks of money. Stacks of money that's worth nothing. worth nothing. And what is that doing? That's making all you worldly ass street dudes and rappers buy into money. Money. So you're gonna have all this money on you, and when they crash that dollar, you're gonna be used to a state of comfort. Yeah. You're gonna be used to convenience of having that dollar and being able to trade with that dollar. Mm -hmm. So once it crashes, all they're gonna tell you is, look, you take your money and you invest it. Into this encrypted currency, the RFID chip. Mm -hmm. What are they doing the biometric, now? The biometric system. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's like it. They're doing that now. You got, um, I just watched it earlier, a video on it earlier, but basically, um, um, with the whole digital currency thing, you got Venezuela's only option is to go to cryptocurrency. Yeah. Because their inflation rate is over what? Um, Three hundred percent, okay. Ninety-nine percent of the value of their their paper currency is is without value, okay. So everything is just basically being fizzled. Cash is being fizzled out. You got these different countries like Iran, China, uh, North Korea, Russia. They're they're doing away with trading in oil with the, the uh, United States petrol dollar, the dollar bill, because that's really the only so-called substance. Value that the dollar does have, it, you, you trade oil with it, which is a commodity. But that's being done away with now by these other countries. So what? Is, so what is there left? That's why you have different top businesses investing in digital or or, 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 or cryptocurrencies that is is starting to make a headway in the market. Yep. You know, and, I just, and that's going to lead to the market chip because once these it's like once these cryptocurrencies, once they uh, 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 become profitable in the market, where you can trade back and forth, like my brother was saying, where you can trade back and forth, then that's where that's where they Esau and the elites know that they can make they can put their stamp on it and say this is the new currency. 
But guess what? In order to keep you safe from it, you're going the only the only way to access it is if you have it embedded in your your body, in your, in your flesh, right. yeah, in your right. flesh. And you know they they market it with the um the new iPhones that's come out in November, December, November, December. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the face recognition, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. and uh, uh, iPhone X. Uh, right. X marks the spot. Yeah. Right. You know, the thumbprint. Uh, you know. Yeah. I was gonna say I had actually seen a commercial today. You know that that nigga that be playing like he Wolf on Wall Street. I don't know that it's it's some type of YouTube commercial, but the guy was basically talking about the chip. He had an actual. Uh, you know, like a Vegas chip, mm-hmm. and he snatched it out, and it was a flash drive. And he said, "You know, I got the uh, chip for individuals is free, but it was actual flash drive." And he said he's going to send it out to free people, and it has all the data. You know, you can actually order it online. Mm-hmm. You know, all you got to do is pay for shipping and handling, but it could be dispensed. And he said through this this hard drive that has all your your communications, your, your, you know, tech tech technological info, everything just embedded in that one fun. hard drive. So that's just a, a example amongst many, like the brothers were just now saying, on the new world that actually Esau is gunning for. Because mm-hmm. just like we said, the fashion of this world is fading away. That's right. Hell, I, you know, I was on Business Inside, and they were basically speaking about, you know, I basically, you know, television, entertainment, these things, that, that's starting to be archaic, man. Yep. That's starting to be an old way of living, mm-hmm. just sitting down and watching, the, you know, bullshit TV and all these different things. In due time, all these things, is, they get their peak. Everybody jumps on top of it, and it desensitizes, and everybody wants to they go for the new way, what, what's yeah. current. And then yeah, the, yeah. the most current thing that they're going to have is Revelation 13. That yeah, microchip, yeah. where you can watch TV in your own head. Yeah. 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 It's going to be you can watch TV and be uh, on a fucking uh, cruise ship. Mm-hmm. And you see a hologram. You know, because Esau yeah. got this technology. Yeah, it's called a yeah. uh, Google... Uh, Google got it. Google, um, Google Glass. Yep. Yeah, Google Glass. And then it now was a. Uh, you got the Google Alexa. Google Hololens. Yeah. You got yeah. all these, you know. Man, he's so infinite, and that's why yeah. it's, it's that's why you got to unplug from the matrix. Come yeah. on. Because if you if you if you involved with the matrix, it's going to come come a time where Esau is going to translate this whole society that you see mm-hmm. into a small chip. God. He's gonna take everything, man, from your TV to your money to your medical uh, uh, to your uh, to your job. Everything that that whole power source that you've been attached to, yeah. he's gonna take all that energy. And he's gonna transfer into a small chip. All you gotta do is put it in your in your arm, and everything is to your convenience, man. You can start your car with the chip. Yep. You can pay oh, your you bill with the chip. Yeah, you open your, you, you gain food. access in and out to the chip. You can walk into Amazon and buy food with your chip. Mm-hmm. You can order pizza with your chip. Mm-hmm. You can order a uh, 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 shoes online with your chip. You know, you could uh, what, what's what's some other stuff now? You could you know music in the club. Yeah, you could call a chip. You could call somebody with your chip. Mm-hmm. Or you can order an Uber with your chip. Yep. All these things, this radio frequency identification, yeah. all these, all this stuff is going to be boiled down into a small chip. And if you're attached to this world in any shape, form, or fashion, it's going to lead you into the chip. That's why the scriptures say, "Trust in the Lord with all I, with all I might, and lean not into that." As a matter of fact, get that, uh, get get that scripture. I think what is that Proverbs three. Three and five. Yeah, yeah. Try, 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 try. yeah Proverbs three and five. This is Proverbs three and five. Yeah. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashiyah Shai, with all thy heart. Yeah, see? That's why you gotta trust in Yahweh Bashiyah Shai with all your heart. That word heart means your mind. Your mind frame, man. Your mind frame gotta be geared towards Yahweh Bashiyah Shai. Right. You gotta trust in him. Because if you got a little, a little, uh, uh, um, you know, connection to the world, it's gonna draw you in, man. A little leaven, leaven, yeah. the whole lot. Yeah. That's right, and that's, that's why we saw needs is that little seduction, mm-hmm. that little tap into your mind. Cause just like we said earlier, it, it becomes an addiction. Every time you want to get your, your, you know, your shit off, so to speak, you're gonna go right back into that source. That's the that's the what the world is for the pleasure. Everybody associates with the world because they want to release something. They want to release their stress, so they want to go into these. Whether it's the fucking gaming world, the virtual world, the clubbing world, all these different worlds. 
And just like the brother said, everything is going to transition to that to that main thing that Jake mm -hmm. is going to look to get a piece with, which is that chip. Mm -hmm. And that's why we, you know, forewarning, you know, the elect and the men of the Lord of the uncommon uh, destruction. Because all these things is, is coming, man. These yeah. technological geniuses and these big businessmen that's making these financial investments and, and, and getting together, you know, looking for the for the next time to drop that wave. Because everything with Esau is time. Yeah. Esau could have been probably dropped that iPhone 10. Yeah. It, 10? They could have yeah. been dropped that probably 10 years yeah. ago. They, but they want to work in steps. Yeah. They work in steps. Yeah. Right. They don't want to jump one step to another because people don't react. They, they know how people react. Yeah. Yeah. And people dumb down, so they brain slow any day. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they've been had the technology, you know. Been had. Uh, well, uh, they had uh, touch the, screen in the 90s. They did the uh, fingerprint. Yeah. Do you know how been long they've been fucking fingerprint? Yeah. Fingerprinting us? Yeah. You know, they've been had that. So, but but you, you put it on a phone for Jake, Jake, they fall right into it, you know. Like, yeah. oh shit, fingerprint? You know, Face recognition? Yeah. They, they're doing that shit. And that's how you keep Jake outdated and yeah. out of the loop. Yep. When you have a, a particular technology mm -hmm. for years and you hold it and you bring it out at a specific time, God. it makes Jake think that this is groundbreaking. Yeah. Yeah. This is new yeah. technology. I can yeah. enter into my phone with a fingerprint. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ben had this. Look at the movies, Minority Report, and things of that nature. Yeah. Yeah. Face recognition. You had uh, yeah. uh what was that? Uh, Enemy of the State. Yeah. 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 Enemy of the State. Yeah. yeah. Face recognition. This, these things were back in the '90s, so it shows yeah. you that they entertained these actual options, yeah. and they had them, but they only put they put them out for for what to control the mind. So right. imagine if they actually allowing you access to to uh to technology from the 90s in, in 2017. Now you imagine what they what they really know now. Yeah. Artificial intelligence is a motherfucker, right. man. Yeah, right. And that's and the artificial intelligence is nothing but Esau's demons. Yeah. That's yeah. Esau's uh, 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 so-called left hand side angels. Yeah. Yeah. Face but recognition. If, when you even look at that word artificial, artificial mm -hmm. goes back to artifice, which means the craft, and intelligence is another word for demons. So basically, the craft of, of demons or evil spirits. Which craft? Esau is known as that crafty spirit, in, you know, in the scripture. And that's if you got an iPhone, that's Siri. Yeah, Siri is a demon. And then yeah. if you got uh, Google, what you got? Uh, you say, "Hey Google." Yeah. Yeah. That's a demon. Google. And notice, no, notice, notice Google. Hey, Google, all right, is pretty much a very uh, pivotal uh, company. In Esau's enterprise, mm -hmm. Google Google is gonna push a lot of this uh, uh, RFID yeah. technology. They control. They doing it now. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got the Google Glass, Google mm -hmm. Alexa, mm -hmm. where you got this little tube and you can just say, "Hey, I want to turn dim the lights." Yeah, Alexa. And then, Alexa. yeah lock your doors. Oh, yeah. Wave something. Wave. Uh, uh, I'll give it for that. Yeah, yeah. Man, pull yeah. that up. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Matter fact, that's why we saying. Get out the world. You know, Z wave. Z wave. Z wave. You got the Google yeah. Z wave, yeah. Google which I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to do some research on that. But the brother probably has, you know, done mm -hmm. done some research. Right. Z wave is what they uh, what they use to um, do a lot of uh, voice recognition turn technology, turn the lights off. And then Z wave is the program that recognize your voice and it turn the lights off or 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 or. Uh, let my blinds right. down. You know, turn the TV on. Turn the TV on. Yeah, yeah. Z Wave, Z Wave is a, a yeah. big company that that do a lot of that. And stuff. that's why you got to get out the world, man. That's right. That's right. That's why because that's right. this stuff is very, very, very addictive, man. That's right. Huh? You know, huh? you get you can very well put your trust in that, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't feel like going downstairs now. I'm in the bed. I don't feel like going downstairs and locking the door. Man. I'm yeah. tired. Hey, Google, lock the door. Yeah. And if you involved with that type of bullshit, you're gonna take the chip. Yeah. Because it's gonna yeah. be all compressed into a device. Kind of. Convenient. Yep. It's gonna be compressed into a device, man. That's right. That's why it ain't no time for you to be in the truth and be have and be fucking around in the world, man. That's right. All right. If you gotta maneuver in, in the world, do what you gotta do, man. All right. Do what you gotta do. Earn your daily bread. 
But if you sitting up here trying to always cop the, the most groundbreaking technology, yeah. I got the Google election, yeah. and I got this and that, and it's convenient as hell, and it's this and that. Man, you're going to take the chip. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. going to take the chip yeah. because you in it. You, in it. you yeah. are in it, bro. And that's yeah. why you got that. You can't all these friends and shit, so-called friends from the world, you know, uh, these I, I'm about to hang with some chicks all the time. Every time you turn around, Jake I always hang with some chicks. Yeah. But then when it comes time to link up with the brother, they never they 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 got this going on, they got that going on. Yeah. You know, you know, of course. Uh, this is a this is an article from CNBC, and it's a this is a billionaire, Elon Musk, who tweeted yeah, yeah. who tweeted the other day. He said China and Russia soon all countries with strong computer science, artificial intelligence. That's right. Yeah. Competition for AI superiority at yeah. national level most likely uh, cause of World War Three. Yeah. It's said ar artificial AI superiority, cyber cyber security threats, cyber See? cyber warfare. That's what Esau is doing. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he's doing. Yeah. See yeah. what he's doing, Salaki. Yeah. 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 What he's doing is he has artificial intelligence to report things back to the main source. Mm -hmm. Because Esau can't cover enough ground, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So they got to have artificial yeah. intelligence to report certain things back to the main source. Mm -hmm. As in on the right-hand side. Right. Mm -hmm. You got the angels. Mm -hmm. right. Which are the, the angelic or spiritual intelligence of Yahweh Ba Shai that mm -hmm. goes back and reports everything back to the Lord. Mm -hmm. So Esau has developed an artificial system of intelligence mm -hmm. to where it can uh, uh, have voice recognition, Good. face recognition, Good. IP addresses. All these things that Esau has set up is the artificial demons yeah. on the left-hand side so that he can be what? Omnipotent. Yeah. Right. And that's, that's why even when you look at Wi-Fi, it has waves, you know, because even the scriptures talk about how Satan is the prince of the power of the air. What's, what's air? Air is always present among you. You can't escape air because it's the oxygen. It's the breathing source of life for when you're generated. And Esau, that's how he, he wants to create things. That's why all these light poles, they have, you know, markers and they have facial recognition. Everywhere you go has facial recognition. Your, your phones, all your data is located in, in your phone. You know, from your phone, they know exactly who you are. You can't avoid nothing. Your laptop. Cause you switch from your phone to your laptop. You have all these different passwords and, and security. Smart TVs. Smart TVs. Yeah. Well, That's they, the world. Yeah. If I can expand. They on the back end. And I was gonna expect them passwords for you know. God, and this that Elon Musk do. He was the CEO of that SpaceX project that that chariot blew, blew up yeah. you know, the first time. And also, this is what Putin said. Uh, his uh, it says Russian President Vladimir Putin, who said Friday. That the first global leader in AI would become the ruler of the world. Mm -hmm. What they think, that's what they think. That shows you that uh, Yahweh, that shows you that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is hardening in their heart. But that AI artificial intelligence, man, that's that's one of Esau's most one of his most heavy weapons. Yeah. And that's that's why weapons. that's why he invests a, a, a lot of money in, in, into artificial intelligence. That's why he he, he indoctrinates it into common culture and you have access to what uh ask jeeves yep yep oh yeah you got, ask um, ask you're not you know you got google. you got google you got siri bing. you got bing you got yahoo all these news. things yahoo news google voice yeah you know you could go online and just hey you can just go and say uh how much is such and such or how, how yeah how much is a uh how how much is a mile how many feet are in a mile and then they'll give you an actual exact answer mm -hmm. and there's so many people out here that just get on their phone and say hey how do i do this how do i do that how do i go about this dependency, dependency. Yeah. they're getting you dependent yeah. on artificial answers right. yeah, and, that's and we right. wait on what so like you brothers mm -hmm. we wait on what answers from the right hand side, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which is not artificial, well, it's actually it's spiritual. living spiritual power. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. And that's why you have to attach to the right hand side, okay, and detach from the left hand side because if you 
are in any shape, form, or fashion attached to the left hand side, you will take the chip. Yeah. That's right. Read this real quick. It's uh, John chapter 17, verse uh, John 17 and 14. It says, I have given them thy word, and the world has hated them because they are not of the world, mm -hmm. even as I am not of the world. So Yahweh Shah himself, okay, once he's given once he has gave us this 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 gospel and this truth through the spirit of Yahweh, okay, that makes us not of this world because we've given the wisdom and knowledge to understand to know and be able to discern between what's of the most high and what's not of the most high. You know how to maneuver, how to be like a, a wise serpent to 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 decipher between the things that's gonna be detrimental to us. And not be detrimental to us. Okay? It says, uh, it says, um, and I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Mm -hmm. Because uh, that's a lot. Because once you have the understanding, you know what to stay away from. Okay? Because under the curses, we have to go through the valley of the shadow of death. We have to be in this world, we have to maneuver through, we have to live in it, and, and and do the things day to day that we have to do to survive, while at the same time, using what we know and utilizing the wisdom and the instructions to not get caught up in the bullshit. Yeah, and, that, and that's why it tells you that in Romans 12, you know, to be transformed and not conform. Because <coughs> when, you're, when you're a conformist, you're with the form and the fashion yeah, of the it, world. With it, you're orthodox. Yep. Mm -hmm. But in this truth, you gotta be unorthodox. You gotta be different. Change. 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 Yep. Change. The transform, the transform is the switch, your, your formation. Because mm -hmm. everybody in this world is looking to be like the next. That's why everybody is gonna be in the long line to the chip. Yeah. Because when you promote any individuals like Jay Z, Beyonce, these other top moguls, you know, everybody they have such a, a, a strong fan base. Of, you know, which fan goes back to fanatics. They have a, a fanatical base of, you know, individuals that's so emotionally and spiritually attached to them that they're gonna do exactly like them. You know, that's why. And in, in it's truth. You just gotta, you gotta be away from that. You gotta be attached to the Most High and know mm -hmm. His judgments and His statutes and follow that light. Don't never go towards the darkness. Mm -hmm. so I got a, a precept. First Timothy six and seven. Mm -hmm. For we brought nothing. <coughs> into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out and having food and raiment let us be there with content but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare which a snare is another word for a trap right you know because a lot of people be trying to look for these riches man trying to look for some type of uh, supplement for their for their misery and the depression and oppression that they face yeah they they uh replace that with riches as their comfort instead of the scriptures as their comfort. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. And it's a many foolish and hurtful lusts. So even though you, these people desire these things, it doesn't mean it's beneficial. At the, at the particular you know, time, it may feel good, but what does it say? When lust bring forth sin in James, and what does sin bring forth? Death. That's that sting, man. A lot of individuals be trying to commit adultery. Like the scripture says, stolen waters is good. I mean, stolen water is yeah, sweet. sweet. Yeah, sweet yeah. Jake like that sweet feeling, but at the end of the day, it's going to lead to what? That. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you can't play games. You got to right. you you tread lightly. Mm -hmm. That's why it tells you that in Proverbs 1 uh, and 7, to, to give subtlety unto the simple. Mm -hmm. You got to work on the spider web. You know, you got to work on the spider web, man. Yeah, that's right. You know, when you look at a spider, how, how you know, meticulous and how basic motion motion folk it is on that web it, it doesn't get caught up by ev everything that it sets around it's basically very very keen on its environment and everything around them gets trapped in the, its own web instead of it getting trapped up in the web of others right. so it's the same thing in the spirit when you're in this world you gotta you gotta know what you know around you dealing with right. if you're dealing with certain areas that's that's, that's dangerous it's good to say measure the time man yeah, it's like, oh, nah, I already know this, this shit ain't for me. These, these some niggas in here. Yeah. Yeah. We got Jake's like, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, shit, ain't some holes in here, though. Yeah. yeah. Like, stop, man. <laughs> yeah, that, I, yeah. That's what leads to death. Uh -huh. It's even the powerful when there are a monster indiscreet. Observe the time. Observe the time, yeah. 
You know? Yeah. Mm, I got some. I got, I got a little bit more. Oh, okay. So like it. And it's a many hurt, foolish and hurtful lust, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Because mm. mm. men, you try to swim in the water that's too deep, too man. Deep. Yeah. You know, when you be getting on the beach and you start, you know, yeah, you slide down, you see the water is, you know, be up to your legs. Yeah. They see it feel good. They're like, let me, see, let me see how far I can get down. They get to them thighs. Yeah. They get to them, that, that waist. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Get to the point you can't even feel the sand anymore. You yeah. can't feel that sand. And then the current's coming and snatch that right toe. <laughs> <soap. laughs> yep. yep. Come snatch your uh, and just take <laughs> the whole little it, current it, and come snatch up your pinky toe yep. Yep. and it drag your whole body on out there. Yep. Your whole can't swim in them waves. And, and when you swim in the waves, who gonna who gonna swim in them waves to get you? Nobody. Because no, no, no. why? So, cause they they gonna get caught up in them same waves. Well, and it's probably I'm pretty sure probably somebody standing saying, "Don't go out that far." Yeah. Don't, don't be going out that far. No, no, I'm good. I've been out here several times. Okay. <laughs> I've been out here since 85 minutes. Yeah. 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 And that's why the scripture say you're not supposed to tempt the Lord. That's right. right. You got it, Barry. Okay. It says, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Right. Which while some men coveted after, they have air from the faith. See that? Mm -hmm. and that? And that's really what everything boils down to. Yeah. Artificial, if you if you have access to artificial intelligence, you have to have money. Mm -hmm. And that's why you buy into the brand of Edom. You know, because you got to have his money. You got to have his, uh, 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 you know, weight methods of, of trade in abundance in order to uh, uh, reach that goal. So that's, that's why the best thing to do all right, it's just trust in Yahweh by Shema Okay, that's, that's the best thing to do. Let's go, go ahead, Barzah. All right. After they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows, but thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, Come. meekness. Come. That's right. Fight the good fight of faith. Mm -hmm. Lay hold on eternal life. World too, there are also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Come right, on. and the good profession is this truth: Come serving on. the Lord, being a being a a, a, a a fellow laborer in His Word. Okay, that's a that is a that has professed a good profession. We're doing a good thing. That's right. This is okay, Come on. like it says yeah. in Hebrews three and one, this is a heavenly calling. Man. You know, this is something very, very. Uh, it's honorable. honorable and it's like sacred, okay. you know, because there's a lot of people on this earth, you know what I'm saying? And we were, we got that heavenly call right. from Yahweh Bashim Yahshai to occupy until he comes. That's right. Mm -hmm. and, you got, okay. and you got to know that this is a true value, okay. you know, because Esau, one trick that Esau mainly, mainly pushes on his world is he puts value to things that's actually not even valuable. Yeah. You know, he makes these, these expensive cars, you know, some of these cars they'll put it a hundred thousand dollar price. He saw don't get that car for that price, man. He saw get the value of it is way lower. That's why sometimes then when you purchase a car and you take it off the you know take it out of the lot, it depreciates it, 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 just like that. As soon as you put one mile, up. and it ain't it ain't that you got it. It never had value. Yeah, it never had the value. It was the image that it was the tag that he saw slap, and Jake get jacked up by that all the time. This this phone costs five hundred dollars. I gotta it gotta be worth five hundred. That shit ain't worth no goddamn five hundred dollars. <laughs> you got a five dollar phone. Yeah, I mean, you know, Jake be buying four, five, six, seven hundred dollar Jordans and, and Nikes and shit. Up motherfucking gooks over the country that made them shit for damn seven dollars, man. <laughs> so less than that. Yeah, that's not less. And then they they come around you like a like a Max. He come he. Down there, put the Jordan in your face. <laughs> you know what this goes back to? In 96, Jordan hit the game when he shot. And these are the holographic. And they, listen, this is a holographic. Right? All right. Yeah, they, 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 look, they look nice, but who cares? You ain't no, you into the world. You know? Unless, you know, you, in, you into the world. Go ahead, Tazawa. Yeah, this uh, Psalms 20 to 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashanavashai, our power. Oh, that's yeah. right, man. Yeah. That's what we will always revert to. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right? While you people revert to PayPal. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Right. <laughs> we're going to revert to the hour by the same hour shot. Okay. Yeah, okay. Who wants to know that? You know, we're, we're just trusting Egypt. Man. Well, you trust the Patreon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you know, every every single day, these people wake up, and the first thing they do, they still have green crust in their eye, and they cracking open the Facebook app. And they cracking over the Instagram now. Yeah. But what we do is we go to your house about shooting our shot. Right. All right? That's it. Yeah. Through the spirit, man. Right. And, uh, and and that's what because that's what we trust and that's what we believe in. That's we right. believe in his way of living. We believe in his methods of trade. I got one more. Come on. You got it, bro. Uh, Psalms 31 and 14. But I trusted in thee, or your how about shooting our shot. I said, thou art my power. That's right, man. That's a beautiful scripture, man. It says, thou, I said, thou art my power. A lot of you people, your power is Esau. It's electrical power. <laughs> Even if you do say Black Lives Matter yeah. and you want to peacefully protest, he it goes to show that that is your power. Mm -hmm. Black culture is white supremacy. Yeah. It is. Barbecues and cookouts. Okay. Fish, fish fries is white supremacy. Yeah, a lot of that stuff actually came back, went back to uh, slavery. I just said barbecue and actually went back to the niggas getting roasted. Yeah, picnics went back to picnics. Yeah, a fish fry, a fish fry, is nothing but white supremacy. Yeah. That's why that, that that's you know a nigga nigga be having a fish fry and a nigga if he let him see an Edomite walking by he'd give him a plate. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's probably catfish. Yeah, and we and we do the new moves. We ain't giving nobody no plates. So you know, Jay, they, you know, because why? Because that culture. That whole culture, black culture, stems from white supremacy. Everything that you niggas do goes back to white supremacy. And you can't seem to, to you know, to get that through your thick, fat, black tar scalps. Because you two-third niggas are a bunch of dotards. Yeah. Yeah. That word dotard means a simpleton or an imbecile. Yeah, it does. Job turkeys, man. <laughs> Look it up. Uh, hey, right. yeah, so we we didn't see you too. Uh, Proverbs 3 and uh, 13. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. Yeah, because mm -hmm. wisdom is our instructions. Yeah. Wisdom is basically our spiritual map. You know, like when you look at like stories like Indiana Jones and all these other stories, they always have a map that leads yeah. them to what? Treasure, yeah. gold. So what is our spiritual map? Wisdom. You can get that, get that in a, hold that real quick and then jump right back to it, but get that in Proverbs 4 and 13. All right, Proverbs 4 and 13. Take fast hold of instruction, let her not go. Mm -hmm. Keep her, for she is thy life. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> so that's what, that, that's what it leads you to. Life. All right, it leads you to life. It's a, the instruction guide to life. Mm -hmm. Just like if you get a car, and you open up the glove box, it's, it has an instruction mm -hmm. manual to how to keep the car running, how to operate the car, all right? So this is the, the manual for your body in the flesh, the scriptures. Okay? This is the owner's manual for our bodies in the flesh on how to keep ourselves alive and going. Hey, uh, happy. Right. Uh, uh, happy is the man that finds wisdom and the man that get up understanding for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. It's Ooh. better. Better. It's way better, man. Because that's why the scriptures tell you that in Isaiah the sixty fourth chapter that we haven't really perceived what the Most High got set up for us, mm -hmm. man. The merchandise of, of following instructions and the guidelines of the scriptures is far better than gold, rubies, emeralds, saffron. Yep. You know, crystal light. That's right. And the, and the thing is, it's more rare too. Because how many people are doing this? How many people are actually taking their time to, to gain the wisdom and to, to actually get escape from the world? Mm -hmm. Any individual you meet is some type of way they're trying to be a part of this world. Right? That is themselves. Even if they, they do hate the white man, they still try to look to get a business established, mm -hmm. a banking system, you know, some 401k, 401k something to... to to be part of Esau's net. So in the turn, that's why Esau doesn't think of a nigga as a threat. It don't matter how much these niggas be hooping and hollering, screaming they hate the white man. In some way, he got, he got his claws in they, they back. For us, we detach from this world. Even though we're dealing with the, the financial, you know, 
we have to financially deal with it. You know, the society, like the scripture says, bring it to Caesar that which is Caesar. You know, we have to actually pay tribute. We have to do these different things because what? We're in slaves. We're slaves, excuse me. We're slaves and we're in this uh, cap harsh captivity, but we're breaking free. And it all starts with breaking out mentally. That's why we say and get away from the world because a lot of men, their, their mind is so attached to this world. They still got so many uh, uh, extensions that's, that's, you know, wrapped around this world. You got to chop them things, man. You got to chop it so your mind can be whole and so the most high can fully deal with you and build your spirit up. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. Did you have more on that, bro? Got a little bit more. All right, come on. And the game thereof than fine gold. Mm -hmm. but she is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou can can desire are not to be can, compared unto her. That's right. You can't. You ain't gonna be able to compare the microchip to this uh, to this truth. A lot of you people, I'm gonna hit you with something, man. If you take that microchip, you saw ain't gonna do nothing but snatch his whole world away from you. Yep. yep. That's all he gonna do. Yep. All he did is he sucked you into his world to put you into a chip to suck it away from you. Which you you're slave. Yep. Yeah. Esau is a, is a, he's a master deceiver. You have to understand the level of deceptions. That this man is dealing with. Yeah, Esau is a rattlesnake, man. He a fucking rattlesnake. He'll rattle, he'll rattle that. That's you know, that the back of that you know snake tail, so to speak. Really, you win. To really win, and, 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 and you go right into some uh, poisonous venom, mm -hmm. and, and it makes sense, you know, because all he had he, this this is what he had to do in order to uh, get the so-called Israelites. He had to suck them in. You know, he couldn't just go ahead and, and kill all the Israelites at one time. There's too many of them. So what we got to do is we got to suck them in. We got to get them to buy into us. Mm -hmm. We got to get them to buy into our brand. And once they do so, we can snatch the rug from up under them, and then we can get them. Okay? And that's what they're doing. They getting you into they they getting you into the fashion of this world. Yep. You got you take the chip. You got all these different things that you can do. You got access to in the world. You got so called black women and black men that's living better than Edomites out here. Because they've sucked you into their world. Yeah. And what they're going to do is they're going to transfer their world into a, a, a small device, okay? And then they're going to take away all those resources that they gave you and put you right back in the slavery. Right. That's That's you're not going to have the same amount of money that you have now when you take the chip. You're going to start fresh, nigga. And then you're going to have a nigga from, a, from a fucking a, the, the west side of Atlanta on the border of Texas, Texas and Mexico building a wall. Because <laughs> yep. he won't take the chip. Now they're going to ship your ass right over there to build Donald Trump's wall. And then tell you as a client. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> I got so this good. world, man, refrain from it, man. That's right. Because it's getting more and more enticing as we go on from our day to day. This world is very enticing, man. Mm -hmm. it's, very, it's the lust of the flesh. This is actually the, the, the pinnacle of the flesh, man. This world that we living in, it, it don't get no more enticing than America, man. This is the pinnacle of the fleshly realm. Yeah. They, and you can get drawn into, okay, the, the, the spell. So in order to obtain from it, and brother's been bringing out beautiful precepts, okay, how to combat this world. Because this world, one way, it will suck you in. It's, it's, it's all kind of uh, vacuum cleaners. Or vacuums from stemming from Esau that can suck you in, man. There's all kind of different outlets, man, that he can get you from. You got some Jakes out here, they hooked on crack. Some Jakes alcoholics. Some Jakes is just workaholics, man. They put in overtime, they work extra and don't even want to get paid because they want to stack up their 401k and be company. Mm -hmm. You got some Jakes that like to sell dope and sell weed. You got some Jakes that want to be a faggot so that they can get jobs. Gamble. Gamble. All right, want to uh, uh, you know get it, go go to school and be a professor, be a doctor, be a lawyer. There's so many different outlets to this world that if you trust, if you put all your trust, you got some Jakes out here that's into sports, heavy. Yeah, sports fanatics. You know, and they feel like that. That's 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 they their energy is invested in that arena mm -hmm. until it com it, it that mm -hmm. until everything is compressed into a device where you can get that same comfort that you had before. You can get that same comfort so if you take this device. Mm -hmm. You can be right back to normal. 
and they're going to do it because that's where their spirit is at. But our spirits, Lord willing, that we be those men, our spirits is plugged into the socket of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Okay? Uh, you, Rob, Rob, you have something, right? This is uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Now, the so called white man is the biggest unbeliever the face of the earth has ever seen. Uh -huh. <laughs> he don't believe not one word written in the scriptures. I one. The. <laughs> he don't believe in that word. <laughs> he don't believe in not one word written of in the scriptures. And. And. Mm. Or. Mm. The. Die. You don't believe. Because when you add it up, because and the reason why he doesn't believe is what does he do? He creates the NIV and these yeah. other words and these other versions, and he take the smallest words out of them. Yeah. He take the smallest words out of the scriptures, man. Yeah. Go to show that he don't believe in these words. Okay. He feel like, oh, these should be this, yeah. and this should be that, yeah. and that should be this. Yeah. You don't believe in the smallest words like and or. Because you take those small words of the scriptures and you 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 retranslate those words. So how could you be uh, uh, unequally yoked with these niggas, man? Continue, bro. It says, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what fellowship doth righteousness have with unrighteousness, man? Why are you always trying to kick it with your buddies from the world? Why are you always trying to put them on the truth? Why are you always trying to incorporate the truth and the world? Yeah, and that's why the Lord gave you a mouth, say, after uh, what, two or three admonitions with James. Yeah. That's why I'm treating like a fucking heathen, man. Yeah. If a nigga ain't gonna get it, don't don't bend yourself backwards for a nigga to get it, man. Yeah. You trying to exhaust all your time, you wasting time that you could actually use valuable, valuably to build yourself. You trying to break your neck for the sake of a nigga, man. Nah. That's why the Lord said that these things in the scriptures, man. Everything was forewritten. The Lord mm -hmm. said, uh, when, when your father and your mother shall forsake you, then the Lord is going to bring you up. Okay. The Lord didn't even deal with his brothers like that. Okay. The Lord wasn't dealing with niggas. He always had a, well, the Lord ate Republicans and sinners. Man, first off, you got to understand the context. The Lord was amongst them, building them up, and they was, you know, gathering an understanding. Right. Because we all are sinners. We, yeah. we all fell under that, under that umbrella. Okay. Uh, but if it was certain people that didn't get it, the Lord wasn't dealing with them, man. That's right. He condemned them. Yeah. You know? You got some more? Uh, well, um, yeah, what I want to do. Mm, I'll finish it. Yeah. Yeah. It says, um, and what what communion had light with darkness? Yeah, and we don't have communion with darkness because we represent the light. Right. So that communion goes back to communication. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you don't have communion and, and being at one with them, you shouldn't do anything to even attach yourself. Your best bet is to detach, God. break free from these people, man. God. You know, you may have certain people you may work with, you know, so that you can generate some type of revenue just to, you know, get your daily bread. That's all right. You know, that's fine and dandy. But you have Jake that's just trying to overdo shit, man. And that's just doing the most, you know, trying to trying to bring you, bring themselves and goddamn 30, 30, 40 friends to the kingdom with them through recommendations and shit. I don't work like that. Well, you know, uh, friend of a prophet, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, man, hey, fuck niggas, man. You know, get, your best bet is truth is, is to break free from niggas and to push the truth. And the Lord said that. That's what the Lord told us was that. Yeah. Get be like men unto these. Mm. If, if, if you were around people that's not mission focused like you, they're not dedicated, and you and if you go into the scriptures and they don't feel where you're feeling, they don't feel where you're coming from mm -hmm. in the faith. Yeah. What emotional attachment? Do you, do you have these individuals? It's the you world. Should. That's what you got in common. So if you able to 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 have a cohesive blend with a nigga in the world, you in the world. It's, it's no way. People in the world make me feel uncomfortable. I don't like being around people. Man. Yeah, they make they. You know, of course, you know, as you grow on a level, you got to understand how to deal with people. But they make you, they make you feel uncomfortable. Now, if you comfortable. We're just hanging around a nigga in the world, or, or a nigga woman, or, or you just hang around Edomites like everything is easy breezy. That's a, you know, that's, a that's cool. Happy he, he, that's a cool. Yeah. Listen, but he don't believe it. Listen, you, 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 you. That means you're a part of it. Yeah. 
life. You need to reevaluate it, man. I got I got something real quick, bro. And then you got uh Amos three and three. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Ah, when when have you ever seen a sheep or or a gazelle walking with a lion? You them niggas is not in the, they not, not in agreement. The, no, no. the gazelle knows as soon as he see the lion. Yeah. It ain't no question. Yeah. I gotta go. Yeah. I gotta bounce. Mm -hmm. I gotta bounce. The lion knows as soon as he see the gazelle, I gotta get him. Yeah. I'm gonna get close to him. I gotta get him. They're not just gonna sit up there and walk up to each other and sniff each other yeah. and see, nah. are you one of me? <laughs> they know from the jump, man. Yeah. Dude, this, this, ain't, this is not mine. This is, a, this is not of my stock. <laughs> <laughs> I eat grass and he eat meat. He right. trying to eat meat. Yeah. <laughs> they initially know it. So, what about you and the truth? Yeah, because you don't know who. Who to be around? This, the, 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 the Lord provide the camps for you to know who to be around, but right. you still want to be around the niggas. You yes. still want to sit up there and try to lessen the niggeration of these other people. God. But he's a cool nigga. God. You know, he, he ain't like that. <laughs> he ain't like this. <laughs> you want to try to, to, to soften the niggerism of another man to tell so it can benefit you. You got some jokes, but you know if I talk it's to him for at least two more years, I see that he could probably get it. You know, I just got to I got to work on it. Man, fuck that nigga, man. Yeah, 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 just give me give me give me two three months, man. I got to crack it. Nah, man, fuck that, man. It's not about that. That's why the Lord, when the Lord was dealing with the disciples, he did certain things, and they straight what they said they straight away forsook their the nets, the money, the things that they had, and they just, you know, they shot straight. To the Lord, man. God. God. The same thing in the faith. You you know the men that actually can get it. And if you don't know the men that, that can't get it, then you don't have discernment and you need to sit down and build yeah. yourself. Yeah, and you, you need this to grow right. That's right. God. Hey, uh, they're just like uh I was coming home today and uh uh rap. This guy this 230 asked me, uh, hey man, why you think that girl put them um babies in the oven and kill them? I know that, you know, because she, she, she got demons on him. Right. But I'm not going to give him that answer because I know he, he already ain't going to get it. He ain't going to get that. So you know what I said? I don't know, man. Something had to be wrong with her. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that, you know. Yeah. So, so what you can deal with these people, yeah. you know? Yeah. Everything, you don't have to come going to. And that's another thing. You always got these guys that are just trying to shoot out a barrage of scriptures to every person they meet. Yeah, nah. You know? <laughs> Here it is, you in the middle of the restaurant, you know, the way to say something pertaining to some type of truth. <laughs> well, you know you is one like, right? Yeah, you got yeah, to <laughs> sit up there telling another brother, get me second Corinthians. Hey, man, second time, you know the, know the place. Yeah, right. Got the 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 yeah, yeah, you got your sword. So That's matter of fact, you, you, you at the table supposed to be ordering the food. And you sitting up here trying to cut the waitresses. Or you trying to, you know, tell uh, if you go and get twenty dollars on pump number one, and you telling Ishmael that 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 we the Israelite. You 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 bugging. You tripping hard. You bugging. <laughs> you 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 know. But, but, but yeah, hey, we gonna we gonna bring this out and we gonna go ahead and wrap this lesson right, up. Come, come. Uh, this uh, John chapter eight and uh, John chapter eight and thirty two, and ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Mm -hmm. and free from, well, oh, you're right. yeah, it says that you shall know the truth. First of all, knowing the truth is understanding the scriptures. You, you're going to have a, 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 a certain discernment through the spirit to know what the Bible is about. And, and, and the, truth of, the truth of the way the world works. Mm -hmm. And once you understand how the world works, what makes you free is the the um, the, uh, the knowledge of your how about shine with Sha and how there's going to be a new war to come. Yeah. But a, a man that doesn't have the full understanding of it is going to be spewing out, you know, whatever comes to mind because he he he's not free from the world yet. Yeah, right. Scripture yeah. says the truth shall make you free mm -hmm. because the more you gain. And the more you know, like like scripture says in Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, uh, it makes you grieve. Yeah. And what do you grieve with? The world around you. Right. You're gonna shy away from your friends, shy away from your family. You're gonna gravitate more towards men 
like yourself. Because at, at the end of the day, the truth is about survival. Right? Yeah. Look at the animal kingdom. The, the, just like we're talking about the gazelles and different things like that, they move, you know, close with the pack. And if you do have ones that actually, you know, stray off, then they're very naive and they don't, they haven't seen death in, in the pack, you know, like they're supposed to. The ones that actually very, very, you know, keen, the ones that, that know how to move and maneuver, they seen some shit. They, they, they actually have their senses exercised. Experience. They experience certain things and they know what's a monster. They know that mm -hmm. lions prey. They know when they, when they go far into them lakes, there's, the alligators is located there. Mm -hmm. You know, they know that it'd be certain animals that be, you know, in the tree. They know they got to look up. They got to look down. They got to look around. Mm -hmm. They got to make sure that they, they, they close knit. They got to make sure that everybody has their eyes in all directions and that they're keeping themselves together so that they could avoid death. But you have those individuals, man, that, that just all over the goddamn place, man. You know, they got that, that Spider-Man type of mentality, but black Spider-Man thing, and they got them too cool for school, man. And all the clubs, you know, and all the clubs because the, the world seems like it accepts them. Like, man, you better get the hell away from that, that spirit, man. The, if the world accepts you, that means you're a part of it. You uh, have what you... Uh, yeah, this is Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 1 and 15. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Mm -hmm. Refrain thy foot from their path. Yeah. For their feet run to evil. That's right. And that's what you got to consider. Mm -hmm. Even though they may be cool in your sight, they these people ain't cool in the sight of your house by shot. Mm -hmm. Think about all the stuff that they're doing when you not around, but you still want to try to incorporate them in the truth. They ain't going to work. These people are offending the, the, the Lord and his program. Okay. But because he's cool to you, you think he's going to be cool to you. How about you? How about you? got another thing coming. And it's going to okay. end up getting you in trouble. Okay. It's going to end up getting yourself in trouble. That's just like if, uh, you know, you, you grew up and you got a good friend, but you don't want to hang with him because he's lame. But you want to go hang with the, the neighborhood cool kids that's around setting fires and they breaking people's windows. And then when your mama find out that you got in trouble with this dude, or your father finds out that you've been out doing mischief, what you think he gonna do to you? He gonna cuss your friend out and he gonna get your ass. Yeah. And you know, the, the individuals that, just like back in, the, back in the day, you know, back in school, so to speak, the ones that was always peers, but the cool kids, all of them became fucking drug addicts. And yeah. They're losers, man. Yeah. They're yeah. jail. So they the ones that losers. Yeah. yeah. The one that was majors, you know, was inclined to their crab, the so called nerds and the geeks. Those mm -hmm. were the ones that actually grew up to become successful. Yeah. Because yeah. they were the ones that was actually focused mm -hmm. on what they, their business. Mm -hmm. They knew that they had to handle something and they wanted to mm -hmm. actually, they, they foreseen a, a bright future and they wanted, they wanted to draw themselves away from the world. Mm -hmm. Just like, like I said, back in school, you always had those individuals that just didn't fuck with anybody, and they ended up being the most successful of their class. Okay. And the niggas that, you know, everybody fuck with them, they end up being the goddamn losers, and, and, and we're all their friends today. Yeah. Nobody amongst them. The yeah. same niggas that get kicked out of school, yeah. niggas end up getting on dope, selling dope. A lot of them niggas in prison, no killing jobs. Ups, no no jobs, bumps, just to get that little time, time to shine amongst everybody in it. And to be a class clown and give a nigga a laugh, give other niggas a nigga woman laugh, man. <laughs> Same thing with a lot of these women, man. The woman that was, you know, actually amongst majority of uh, the, the, the dudes trying to get the cool guy, she become the, the fucking the slut with all kinds of diseases in her, man. But the, the lame ass chick, she ended up, she ended up growing up and she kind of, you know, becomes reserved and she, you know, actually becomes more successful than the other uh, energy. Yeah. You know, it's all about input, output, and it's true. You gotta, you gotta slow your roll, man. With, don't try to move too fast. Don't try to be seen. That's right. The best bet is to, to work the background and let the most side build you up. Okay. Learn these scriptures. Okay. Like the Lord said, learn you and me. Okay. Yep. You know? That's right. Hey, we're gonna go back to uh, this, this uh, 1 John 2 and we're gonna close it out. 1 John 2 and 15. I'm sorry, 15 again? Yeah, start, start at 15. Just read. Come on. Read all the way down to 17. First John chapter two verse fifteen: Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Continue. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, is not the 
is not of the Father. That's what draws you in. The lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. That's what draws you in and it makes you think, oh, this is an innocent thing that I'm involved with. But you got to consider that the actions that you do are not of the Father. Yahweh watch is not the Go ahead. But it's of the world. And the world passeth away. That's right. Like he spoke about in 1 Corinthians 7 chapter. The fashion of this world passeth away. It's the same thing that you're, you're, you're putting your marbles into. It's going to pass away right before you. Everything that you invest in, that's just like if, if a so-called white man make a major investment, that investment turn around and it, 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 uh, it falls on his head. What does he usually do? He just jump out the window. Yeah. Or he go and blow his fucking brains out. Because he's made an investment into a corporation or a company that folded. Now he's he's done. And that's what's gonna happen to to, to certain you know, men yep. that's in this faith and that wants to be a part of the world. It's gonna crumble on you. Quick precept. Second Peter chapter three, verse ten, a classic. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the mm -hmm. night, in which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise, mm -hmm. and the elements shall melt away. No, refer to heat. Mm -hmm. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Mm -hmm. Seeing yeah. then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation? And, and, and that's right. So who, who who should you be? How should you be acting? What should, should you be talking yourself? about? What you say about love? How should you conduct yourself? How should you conduct yourself? What should you be doing considering that you know these things? All right. Should that be should that be frolicking in the world with seven or eight women when you know you got business to take care of and you're not handling your business? What's gonna happen? Your company's gonna fall, sir. <laughs> you got a you got a major company Bankrupt. and you you one of the top executives in the company and you're supposed to be handling these certain affairs within the company. With meeting and meeting and stuff. Meeting, like teaching, mm -hmm. and that goes to putting in the work, going to the highways and byways, making sure things properly flowing it within the camp, but you putting all that aside to go fuck around because you the top you the top man in the company and I can do it. Then eventually the company turns on you and you end up getting your ass burnt and then you get mad at the company. And, and you know what? That's how scandals occur too. Because a lot of people they'll be top businessmen that yep. set the image and they be fucking off in the background doing all kind of shenanigans. Yep. And somebody catch holding and catch a picture, a snapshot with they with they shit, snort cocaine, snort mm -hmm. some cocaine yeah. or some shit like that, and now they they under either under the individual submission to draw anything they want, they extort them for money, or they end up putting them on you know on blast on media, yep. and all this shit just go straight down down. They woman leave them, spiritual wicked kids leave them. They get on child support, they lose their, their real estate, they lose. I, I forget the exact um like you know definitely you know to get the fame so to speak. You yeah, got policy, yeah, you got different policies where your image has to be intact for you to run a company. They have actual policies. And if you don't uh, keep yourself to the image of that policy, then you can get that rug snatched from under you by rights. You know, you can't be a druggie on the, the, company, on the top of the company. They'll vote you out. Yeah, the company will vote you out and they'll promote another CEO or president in your stead. That's why you got to move, you got to move lightly, man. You got to tread lightly and keep yourself... Keep yourself unscathed from the world. That's what the Lord says to be without spot and blemish. The Lord ain't just saying stuff just because it sounds cool in the, in the text, man. It's a purpose behind it. And a lot of men, they, they get to a certain point where they just fuck their whole image up, man. This truth and, and your spirit, that's your, that's your brand. Your brand is the thing that you should want to keep most intact. The Lord said a man's name is, um, you know, a, a good name is, is what? Better than a uh, fine ointment. Fine ointment. Which a fine ointment is very, very, very valuable, you know. Like Especially, aloe. yep, aloe. Come on, this is First uh, John chapter two. I should read sixteen again, and down to seventeen. For all that, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. Mm -hmm. And the world passeth away, mm -hmm. and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever. That's right. And that's where the stability is going to come in. Isaiah 33, the 6 comes into effect. That's right. All right. Okay. The world ain't going to get you but so far, man. All right. It's like, you know, it's like you basically born on a, a, a you know, you got a full tank of gas and you riding. 
from Georgia to LA. You ain't gonna make it on that full tank, man. Yeah, I put up a couple times. Yeah, and that's what that's what guys is doing. You basically cast putting all your marbles into one system, and you thinking that you're gonna make it. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna make it, man. The only way you can fill up is with the oil, the understanding of the scriptures. That's how you refill your spirit. You invest your spirit into the world, eventually it's gonna dry out and it's gonna crumble and be compressed into a chip. And your spirit is not gonna be nothing but a chip. All right, and that's why, you know, like the brother just said, that's why even in the scriptures, you had those 10 virgins, five were five wise and five were foolish. Cause the ones that didn't put the oil in their lamps, Hey, th- them lamps run out, man. Here it is. You're in a dark area. You need that light so that you can see, you know, all the way to the distance. And they're going into darkness trying to get uh, oil. Yeah. How you going to get darkness? How you going to get oil out of the dark? And you think that men going to go out their way and give you some of their oil? It's like, now we both ain't going to get to the fence line. That's why I say you better go to the cellars and buy it. Right. You, you better find your way. Yeah. Find your way. And this is how you get more oil. This is how you keep your spirit burning, your lamp burning. Let the scripture say what? The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. So your spirit is a flame. You got to get more understanding. All right? And it, it comes out the scriptures. You think you, you think just because you read the book of Titus, you don't have to read it no more? Just keep reading it. You get more understanding out of it. You get more oil to keep your spirit burning. Because you may read the one scripture that you didn't understand. You reread it, and it gives you more understanding. That's how you keep your spirit burning, man. Which so, is the principal thing that all that is. You get understand it, you know? So that's pretty much all we had on the lesson. Um, you know, this thing, we're getting down to the wire. It's a lot going on in Israel right now. God. It's a lot going on in the world, okay? It's a lot going on concerning prophecy and the sign of things to come. So I would advise certain brothers if they fucking around in the world, the line is you better, you know, get it together quick. Get the fuck out of there. Because this world is about to come down. So, you know, we're going to close out by giving our praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Double honor once again to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who taught us this truth and uh, labor. Uh, and Shalom to the elect and the sisters. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.